Welcome back. I'm going to talk about how to make a flat panel on your new Addy machine. So tubes are very versatile, but there are times when only one thickness or a width that is different from what your machine produces as a tube, flat panels are the answer. So you should learn how to make tubes before trying flat panels. Tubes are easier to make and the experience with tubes will help you find the yarn that works well and the proper tension to produce a well knit piece. Generally, you will be able to make a flat panel using all the needles on your machine, less three. Meaning, when you're making a panel, you can make a panel from this needle all the way around to the other, the other pin on the other side, but leaving three pins out. So that's how long you can make the longest panel. The two ends of the flat have to be separated by at least three inches to avoid interference when knitting the other end. You can use as few as three needles to produce a somewhat loose I-cord in any number up to three less than the full number. For learning, use whatever yarn is easiest to use on your machine. I have this um, yarn here. I believe this is Loops and Threads yarn. I honestly do not remember. Um, but it's a four, size four, and it's acrylic. And I have been practicing with this and this seems to work really well. I was using a different yarn earlier. Um, this is also a uh, loops and threads and it's a little bit fuzzier. I was having a lot of trouble with a flat panel on this. So before you start your project, um, Definitely practice and know what yarn works best for whatever machine you're using. Obviously, every machine is made independently. We all don't have the same exact 100% same machine. Um, so practice and test out your yarns before you get started. Find your three black pins on the Addy machine. You're going to skip these and cast on on the first white needle after the first three black needles. Cast on as normal. You get to the last white pin, you're gonna stop there. You're gonna loop your yarn under the uh, bump. You're gonna put your yarn in the yarn. You're gonna close the door. From here, you're going to reverse, and very important to make sure that every needle catches the yarn so you don't have any drop stitches. When you come around to the last white needle here, pass it, go past one needle, and what you're looking for is for the yarn to pop below that red um, bump. Then you can reverse and go back the other way. Come up to the last white needle, pass it one, you'll see the yarn pop underneath the red bump and then you can reverse and go the other way. You are now knitting a full panel on the Addy circular machine. And you will just continue going back and forth until you have whatever amount of rows you need for your particular project. Again, you wanna take your time you want to make sure that your needles are catching the yarn so you don't have any dropped stitches. And you just have to keep an eye out. If you see a drop stitch, you want to stop, uh, grab your loom pick, and then just make sure that you're fixing your stitches as you move along.
Now you're just gonna, again, cast off as usual, cut a decent length of yarn, grab your darning needle, and you're just going to cast off your machine, grabbing each loop from each pin, one by one until you get the entire project done. And there you go, that's how you make a flat panel using the entire length of your Addy machine. So now I'm gonna show you if you have the Addy stoppers when you buy this machine, you get two stoppers. Um, I do not have stoppers for my Centro, um, but you can purchase them on Amazon. I can try to find the link for you so you have that. So. You're gonna do the same exact thing. Let me just grab my yarn. Again, I'm gonna to go to my black pin and I will just cast on just like normal. Open the door, make sure the yarn is under, it's caught here under the red pin open the yarn feeder and put that in there and close the door now for the addy stoppers there is one side with no notch and then the second the other side has a little notch um, so when you put this on you just want to have the notch facing down and then this just clips over the red button here so for the stoppers to work correctly, from your last pin, you need to count five to the left. So from the, um, the red bump, one, two, three, four, five. And for, from where you pawn, you need to count three, one, two, three. So you would just go beyond and this, the stopper, see it automatically. I can't go any farther. That's why it's called a stopper. Hit the stopper. Now this is, again, you don't wanna do it eyeballing it. You don't have to pay attention. Still pay attention when you're doing your flat panel. Again, you need to take your time doing this. Go in reverse. So you can clearly see, yes, the stopper is five pins out, but when you go in reverse, it catches where it's supposed to catch. So go in reverse. Again, make sure that that catches under the um, pin. And now I'm gonna go until it hits the stopper on the right. Automatically stops. Now I'm gonna go back the other way, just like making sure that once again, your pins are catching and this drops underneath the red button. See, now that's gonna miss. So I will just carefully make sure that that goes under. Perfect. 
until I hit the other stopper. Go in reverse. Again, making sure that that hooks. Taking my time, going until I get the other stopper. Making sure it catches. Very good. Now, this is when you want to make sure your yarn is down. You don't want to miss any notches. Reverse. And you continue to make your panel, again, however long you need it to be and however wide you need it to be. And that is how you use the stoppers with the Addy machine. Now to cast off, when you finish however many rows you want to make your panel, you'll cast off as normal, like you're going back the correct way to turn your machine um, to go forward. Cut your yarn, grab a darning needle, and put it on. And then what you want to do is turn your handle just like you would before and you want to catch the loops here to cast off Make this a little bit longer i kind of short shorted myself and i'll grab the next loop So that's how you make flat panels, whether you're using the uh, entire machine, you get the large flat panel, or if you're just making uh, a smaller one or smaller tubes, um, just remember that you need to bind the ends off depending on what you're doing um, when you're um, combining them with other flat panels to make whatever you're going to make. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. Um, just words of uh, advice. I know I struggled learning how to make flat panels. Um, you need to take your time and practice, 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 and before you know it, you'll be beautiful flat panels. See you guys later.